Um, so the reason you don't want to really hurt the tick is actually that the tick is feeding on you and salivating. And so when you burn the tick, it salivates even more. Pretty much you're scaring it and it just goes bleh into you. And that's what you want to avoid because in the saliva you have uh, potential pathogens. So you want to avoid that. The safe way to remove ticks is to take your, your tweezers and you want to go as close to the skin as possible. And you want to hold on to your tick and you're, what you're going to be doing is you're going to hold on and you're going to pull straight up. Slowly, steadily, There's, you don't want to twist, you don't want to jerk, you just want very steadily to hold on to your tick like this and pull up like that. Now you have your tick, the mouth parts are there, people worry about not having or having the head stay into you. Uh, they don't really have a head to speak of. All they put in there is little mouth parts. They're, they're sinking their teeth into you. And so the teeth, when you remove them that way, you can see them, they're right there. The place where you had your tick, always a good idea to disinfect with alcohol and to monitor the area just to make sure you, wood ticks don't transmit Lyme disease, so you wouldn't have a problem with that. That said, they are a little critter that lives in the wild, and there could be some kind of uh, bacteria, or even just because there's a hole in your skin, you could have staph infection or anything like that. So just clean the area with alcohol or soap and water and keep an eye on it.